In this video, we will show you how to add schema markup to your WordPress website. To accomplish this, we will use a plugin called Rank Math SEO. So make sure to keep watching this entire video till the end to never miss a thing. So without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you have to do is to go to the plugins section right here. And then from here, click on add new button. And then in here, search for rank math. And once you will search for rank math, you will see this plugin right here, rank math SEO by rank math. Install and activate this plugin. Along with that, you will require the pro version of this plugin as well. So you will require the Rank Math SEO Pro. So once you will have the Rank Math SEO and Rank Math SEO Pro installed on your website, what you have to do is to head over to Rank Math and then click on Dashboard. So once you will click on Dashboard right here, from here, you will have to enable this schema structured data. Make sure this is checkmarked right here. And then after that, you can go to whatever post or the page where you want to insert the schema markup. So in my case, I'll show you that how to add the schema markup for your blog post. So I'll head to the post section right here. And right here, you can see that I have added a demo post that is a lorem ipsum post. So in order to add the schema markup, click on the edit button right here. And once you will click on this edit button, once it will get loaded, right here you will see these two options. Click on one of these options right here, and you will have this rank math page just like this. So from here you will have to click on this third tab, which is schema tab. And then from here you will have this article by default. If you want to change this schema, simply click on this schema generator, and you will have a ton of option that you can choose from because this one is a blog post and we can use an article schema for this so i'll just keep the article but if it is a book use the book schema or if it is a course data set event faq fact check how to job posting and so on and so forth you can choose the relevant schema depending upon the type of post that you are targeting so right here you can click on this edit button and in here you can see there will go the headline and by default you will have this short code right here so keep the short code keep this description code keep this keyword code and if you want you can enable the speakables just in case if you want then for this article type you have this option whether it's a news article a blog post or a simple article so because it's a blog post we'll keep the blog post right here then after that simply click save for this post that is it and then you can hit update and by doing that this schema will automatically be added into this blog post. So in this way, you can add the schema markups to any of your posts and pages or any of the custom post types in your WordPress website. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have learned something new from this video, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss an update. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next video.